Let's take a look at the Dip Switches Demo LabVIEW project. I have my standard 8-way dip switch attached to the B connector and the 16-position rotary dip switch attached to the A connector. Let's take a look at the front panel. I have my rotary dip switch here. We're looking at the state of each of the DIO lines presently set to inputs. And I can look at the state of each of the eight switches on the dip switch. At this point, I'm just flipping random switches so you can see some activity. Then let me get a screwdriver and rotate the rotary dip switch clockwise through one revolution. And if you look carefully, you'll see how the states of the DIO lines are passing through a binary sequence. All right, I'll click the stop button or hit escape to break out of the loop. This demo is based principally on the digital input Express VI from the MyRio subpalette. Here's all the digital I.O. channels that I'm using right now on the B connector. You can hit the X to remove channels or you can add channels up here. I have a second instance of the Digital Input Express VI up here, and this handles the four switch signals coming from the rotary dip switch. I take each of the eight lines coming out of the dip switch, bundle those together into an eight wide array, and then I'm using reverse 1D array. Let me explain this in a little bit more detail. When you display an array on the front panel, element zero appears on the far left side and flipping the array around makes it appear on the right side. Well, I take the air cluster, feed it through both of those express VIs or that together with the stop button and that breaks out of the loop, gets handled by the simple air handler. And then finally, I finish off by executing a software reset of the MyRio. And finally up here, I'm pasting the loop at 10 milliseconds per cycle. That means I'm polling the digital inputs at the rate of 100 hertz.